Welcome back. The border crisis is deepening. Nearly one million migrants have been apprehended at the border since January. We are awaiting the official numbers from the CBP for the month of June, but a new report is expecting 188,000 have been apprehended just in the month of June. And by the way, these are just those people who want to be apprehended. There are others who do not want to be apprehended and they just sneak in. Those are the so-called gotaways. And there were about 40,000 gotaways in the month of June uh, and another 30 plus thousand the month before. Joining me right now is Florida Congresswoman and Homeland Security and Agriculture Committee member Kat Kamak. And Congresswoman, it's good to see you. You've been touring the border all this week. Uh, we also went to the border a couple of months ago, exactly where you are in McAllen. Tell us what you're seeing. Well, it's good to, good to see you too, Maria. And yes, I have been here, boots on the ground in McAllen. And, you know, up until about 3 a.m. this morning, I was in Roma, which is one of the new hotspots that is experiencing an incredible surge. And let me tell you, this is the most expensive welcoming party, welcome to America party that we have ever seen. You have National Guard, you have Border Patrol, you have Texas DPS all standing on the banks along with myself and six of my sheriffs from my state. And we are watching as coyotes, some of whom are Americans, are literally bringing people over on rafts. Just last night, we saw over 200 that were coming over uh, as young as two months old. It is staggering. I, I quite literally am at a loss for words for what I saw just in the last six hours as, as a representative. But as you said, these are people who want to be uh, apprehended. They're, this, this million apprehensions, it's a staggering number, but these are people who want to be uh, processed and released into the United States. Your violent criminals, your sex offenders, your gang members, your terrorists, because we know there are people on the terrorist watch list coming over from uh, 140 different countries. Those people are either a mile north or south on the river. And that is the concern. To date, fiscal year to date, it's 200,000 gotaways that we know of. And if you just look at the narcotics alone, the fentanyl that has been seized at the border, the, just the stuff that has been seized, it's enough to kill every man, woman, and child in the state of Florida nine times over. This is a crisis of epic oh. proportions. And it is just I heartbreaking, know. the children who are being trafficked as pawns in the middle of it. Yeah, I know. I, it's just absolutely terrible. I mean, we reported this week that we had 93,000 overdoses in this country just in the last year, and they were largely due to fentanyl. We know that fentanyl is not made in America. Fentanyl comes over the border from Mexico, uh, from China, because the underlying chemicals yes. are made in China, and they uh, get yes. here through Mexico. What really gets me, Congresswoman, mm -hmm. is the fact that we are allowing criminal cartels to be the decision makers as far as who gets into this country. I mean, do the math. Absolutely. If you're talking about 188,000 people apprehended in the month of June, that means, what, six, 7,000 people a day? I mean, is that what we're talking about? 6,000 people yeah. a day are being brought over yes. to the uh, from Mexico yes. on this border in yes. Texas? What's the end yes. goal here? Can we get a million new uh, people every every year, uh, you know, illegally? What are we doing? You know, it, well, and that's the question that everyone is asking. Every single Border Patrol agent, every single National Guardsman, every single person that I have talked to on the border, I said, what the hell are we doing here? And they said, we have the exact same question. It's a great day in America if you're a member of the cartels, because each one of those men and women and children represents 6K. That's 6K ahead that the cartels are making. And like I said, they are setting the, the rules of engagement here. Last night, they were talking to us as they were crossing the river. I'm standing on the banks of the river, and the coyotes are literally taunting us. They're talking to us. They're telling us how much they're making. Yeah. This is incredible. And we have our hands tied because this administration has refused to take action. And when you ask Border Patrol agents and other members of the DPS, Texas Department of Public Safety, they said, under Trump, this never would have happened. It wouldn't have been tolerated. But under this administration, they are letting the cartels dictate the mission, the rules, and the laws. And we're playing by their rules. This is incredible that the yeah. cartels are making the policies for the United States of America. And let me tell you, the people that we apprehended this morning at 3 a.m., in a few days, they're coming to a town near you, and it's going to be on our tax time dollars. That, they're being flown around America. Yeah, uh, I know in my home county, they're being resettled in Gainesville, Florida. This is incredible.
and it's on our dime. Yeah. It, Unbelievable. And, and it's a total dereliction of duty uh, on, on the part yes. of your colleagues as well as this president. Dereliction of duty. I mean, here we are talking about all of these people who are jumping the line. We give out one million green cards every year. People are in line waiting to come here legally. You've got 6,000 people a day jumping that line. A million, almost a million this year. It probably will be a million yes. by the end of July. And yet you've got Texas Democrats getting on a private jet, blowing off their business. You've got Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, uh, you know, vowing to, to, to just disaster the infrastructure bill if she doesn't get her way on the other spending plan. And look, and no comment whatsoever on what's taking place at the border. It's really a dereliction no. and it's a disappointment. It's, uh, Congresswoman, we're going to keep that's on it. We've got a spotlight on this subject, right. obviously, and we'll keep uh, communicating Absolutely. to the American people. Thank you so much.